Yeah, and then Whatever. Sunday we saw him screaming at DiVincenzo, but at the crowd, he can't guard me. Yes. Okay. And then I don't know who guarded him last night. I think he guarded himself because he yeah. does disappear, and I don't get it. And it's why I don't love the Pacers for all the reasons you detailed. Mm -hmm. That there's something in the psyche that's not right here, that's missing. Like you need one guy who just says, no, no, we refuse. We're, we're, we're going to stand strong right here, right now, because they're up 20 to 14. I thought, okay, here they go. And all of a sudden Jalen said, no, I got this in the second quarter. He scored 18 just in the second quarter and 28 in the first half, the most any Nick has ever scored in a playoff half. Mm -hmm. And that was ball game, okay? And by the way, will you allow me to give some love to Isaiah Hartenstein? Oh, man, yeah. Hey, l listen, I, I keep... I keep thinking, oh, he's just some guy, as Bill Parcells would say. He had his boards for him last hey, night, 12 on hey, the offensive rebounds. 12 end. offensive rebounds. I know that's just a lot of want to and desire and heart. But he was, though. That's yeah. what you need, I guys know. like that. But, but I keep watching him, and I say, you know what? Too. He's pretty good because he's seven feet tall, and I they list him at 250. He might weigh 260 he's or a more. Big boy. He is big, strong ox in the middle who has has nice touch. He's going to make a so, lot of money this year. He's is going to be free. He's yeah. afraid mm -hmm. to dribble the ball. Yeah. Okay, but but again, can he hurt you? <laughs> yes, he can hurt no, you. It's funny. He hits the ball. He's like, yeah. you take it. Okay. I don't want it right now. All right, but around the rim, he's got a little stuff, oh, you know, yeah. like a little touch where he's pretty. So I'm, I'm looking at the playoffs, and he's averaged 10, 8, and 4. But of his... Eight rebounds a game. Half of them are offensive rebounds. Yeah. Well, that just means he's just playing harder than whoever's yes. up against him in the lane, right? Well, you got to give him credit. And he, he, he's a kid who, he's 26, I think, now, but his father played at Oregon. Mm -hmm. His father's German-American. And then he, he's played some overseas. He's played for the German national team. And then he's bounced around the NBA because he, he, he backed up Jokic for a while. Mm -hmm. Then he went to the Clippers for a little while. And then all of a sudden... He found his That's fit. fit. He found his spot, right? And they needed him. And all of a sudden, Mitchell Robinson is gone. So you don't go 50-50 between your two big guys. It's kind of him or bust. And last night, he looked good enough for them to win this series, yeah. right? He, he gave them credibility in the paint that I just didn't think they were going to have. So now, I don't know what's going to happen with Ananobi's hamstring, but they say he's making some progress. I don't know. Once you usually pull it, you're, you're just... He did shot. some light work on the court yeah. yesterday, said, is what they yeah. called it. Light work could mean anything, yeah. as you know, Key. Like, so I, who, who knows? Well, if I'm them, I'm trying to get through six and seven without yeah, him. Yeah, without him. Like, yeah. If they can wrap it up in six, the way yeah. the NBA schedule works, if they can wrap it up in six, but the Denver-Minnesota series goes seven, that's the game that'll be on that Sunday. The Denver-Minnesota game seven mm -hmm. would be on that Sunday. So if Denver-Minnesota goes seven, which I think it's going to, the Knicks, if they can wrap it up in six, would have basically five days rest. Mm. That would be enormous for that team going into an Eastern Conference Finals. If it takes it to seven, then they play on the Sunday, and then they have to turn right around and play on Tuesday, game one of the Eastern Conference Finals. So there's okay, a lot on the just, line for the Let's Knicks. just say they got Ananobi back mm -hmm. for the next round. Would you give them any shot against Boston? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, the team. The, would you? Is, none. No, not shot at all. Uh, the Celtics would be favored. I, I would certainly, pay, if you made me pick, I would pick the Celtics. But would I give the Knicks a shot? Absolutely. Well, they're gonna get a shot just because they're on the floor. But I, in terms of realistic but, shot, I, I, I don't think they could. I don't think they could take them to seven. Would you give the Pacers a shot to beat the Celtics? No. So, no. No, so not every team has a shot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I give them a shot. Okay. Even though Boston has quote unquote home court advantage. Uh, they don't have home court advantage because over the last three years, there are 500 team at home in the playoffs. So, so you can flip the, the idea of, well, wait a second, they would have a game seven I in Boston. They, Maybe I, that's not a great thing. I right? think they would step up. I think Boston would step up a level. Their focus, would, they would zoom in on their focus a little bit more. It's another round. You, you, won, you won round away from getting to the final. You know you hadn't played. Well, they, but put it this way. They play well enough at home. They play well enough at home. I think we look at the the hiccup, the Knicks hiccup, the Laker hiccup, the the, the one game against the Miami, Miami Heat hiccup, and we go, oh, they don't play well at home. I know, but last year against Miami, they had a bunch of hiccups. Yeah, <laughs> but they're they... not going to lose. What would they have to lose? They would have to lose two at home. They're not going to lose two at home. Look, the Celtics have not been tested a lot, right? They yeah. haven't played a lot of close games. They've blown out teams mostly. A few times that they've lost, they've been blown out. We will have to see if they get tested. I don't think it's going to happen necessarily in this Cavalier series, but if they make it to the next round, we will have to see if they get tested enough to actually put their money where their mouth is. Because so far, 
when this particular group has yeah. gotten really tested, they have fallen apart toward the end of games. But they also and I just mean I just mean in big playoff they scenarios. Have. They've obviously won some close games. Agreed. There's some good clutch stats, but I mean yeah. in the big big playoff moments. Yeah. They just haven't done it. They and maybe haven't. this year they've learned to do it. I'm not, I'm not counting them out yeah. in those moments. I'm just saying they're going to need to show it. But the thing that I like about Boston, and Paul's asleep right now, so I can say this, is that whenever they've gotten clipped, they bounce back they have. and yes. just run through it. Mm -hmm. Whenever somebody's gotten them on their heels and beat them, they say, you know what, we're not having it no more. They come back out, and whether it's Tatum, whether it's Jalen Brown, somebody, they go nuts. But the Knicks, to get back to your question about could the Knicks and Celtics, what could happen there if they end up playing each other, the Knicks are relentless in those situations. They do not give up. How many times already in these young playoffs have we seen them when it just doesn't look good for them in the last five minutes of the fourth? And those guys just keep on coming. Mm -hmm. And they do all the hustle stuff, and it doesn't make them win every time, but it makes them win a lot. Yeah. And I would be very eager to see that series with what happens in those last five minutes of games Agreed. over a six or seven games. The series. Celtics have not been tested yet no. like they would get tested if, in fact, the Knicks can get through. Mm -hmm. That brings us back to game six, Friday night. As you point out, they get the extra day rest. Okay, well, what do we expect from Tyrese Halliburton? I keep saying, is he a star or not? Has he arrived or not? And last night, he did not look like a star. So do you expect him at home to bounce back and have 35 or whatever? I do. He, yeah. he is a very, very good player. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was an all-NBA level player this year. And I, I think that that home crowd, he's going to also have three days to look at film and see what they're doing to him and play more aggressive. I mean, a lot of it is just internal, how he goes after things. And I think he will go after shots, go after his stuff a little bit more mm -hmm. when we get to Friday. But again, it, it has to all work for them to beat this Knicks team. And the Knicks are going to be more rested. I think they found something with McBride. And I'm just, I'm curious to see if there's another chess move left in Rick Carlisle because I think they're going to need it. And the Knicks know what's on the line here. That, that, those rest days when you are playing with yeah. as tiny a margin as the Knicks are playing, I, I mean, those rest days are so precious. And then, you know, they yeah. need some help from, from Denver, Minnesota. But if they could get five days off before the Eastern Conference Finals, it would be huge for I them. I stopped trying to figure out this NBA schedule okay. a long time. Okay, their schedule. That's why I'm here. Yeah. To help you out. Yeah. You, know, you say Friday. I'm thinking, oh, they play Thursday. I'm like, <laughs> hey, I just take them as they come. Yeah. I just say, well, how late do I have to stay up tonight? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe I can sleep for three hours tonight. Because <laughs> that game last night, which we're about to get to, yes, went forever. Exactly. It's Ever, just, right? It's deep into the sleep time, They're right? Late. <laughs> so, bottom line to this, this is what I love the most about the <sighs> NBA playoffs. They reveal what you are made of. In the end, crunch time, down the stretch time, clutch time, you, you get to see, you get to look inside everybody's heart and soul and say, what, what are you made of and what are you made of? Jalen Brunson is made of tough stuff, real stuff. He might be limited in the end by his height, where you can only go so far with with sort of what you were given, yeah. what God gave you. You know, you, you got you, you got six got feet or whatever. Yeah. You, you got plenty of other <laughs> stuff, but that could be your limitation. Yeah. But this is when you find out, okay, Tyrese, what are you made of? Yeah. Can you rise back up and give the team 35? Because you're you're it for them. Yep. As, they, they've got not, lots of nice little pieces oh, here man. and there and here and there, but in the end, he has to be the piece. He has to offset Jalen or you're going to go home quickly here. Yeah. You're going to go home and stay home on yeah. Friday night, right? Okay, speaking of that other game, that late, late, late game, is that it? Are the Nuggets about to just put away the T-Wolves and put away the NBA championship again? <laughs> Key, love.